Good evening from Washington, D.C. I'm Mehdi Hassan, in for Chris Hayes. Today, for the first time, a member of Congress had to face some level of accountability for the Republican plot to overturn the 2020 presidential election and especially the January 6th insurrection. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene spent most of the afternoon under oath after Free Speech for People, an election and campaign finance reform organization, filed a lawsuit seeking to disqualify her from re-election due to her role in inciting the January 6th insurrection. It's a big deal, historically, politically and legally. There are all sorts of ramifications that can come out from all of this, as well as from Green's testimony. Remember, the three Republican members of Congress, including Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, who the January 6th committee contacted for voluntary interviews, have all declined. But today, a member of Congress who was accused of playing a role in the insurrection was asked questions in person, under oath, for the whole nation to watch. But before we get into Marjorie Taylor Greene's denials and evasions, let's just remind ourselves what she was posting on our own Facebook feed before the insurrection took place. And this is an important time in our history. We can't allow this just to just to be gone, you know, just to let it go. You can't allow it to just transfer power peacefully like Joe Biden wants and allow him to become our president because he did not win the selection. It's being stolen and the evidence is there. That is a call for violence. There's no other way to describe that other than incitement. I mean, what else is the alternative to a peaceful transfer of power? It's a tough clip to push back against, but Green sure tried. Is it fair to say, Representative Green, that from election night of 2020 until January 6, 2021, your personal opinion and your wish was that Congress not certify Joe Biden as the winner of the 2020 election? Uh, no, that's not accurate. Sorry, not accurate. We just saw Marjorie Taylor Greene say herself there shouldn't be a peaceful transfer of power. She even voted against certifying Biden's victory on the night of the insurrection. Maybe someone forgot to tell her she was under oath today. Although outright denial was not really her go-to move in this hearing. Mostly, she just couldn't remember, especially, weirdly, when it came to her long and shameful record of advocating for political violence. Did you like a post that said it's quicker, that a bullet to the head would be a quicker way to remove Nancy Pelosi from the role of speaker? I have had many people manage my social media account over the years. I have no idea who liked that. Okay. You're, are you testifying under oath it wasn't you? Just want to be clear on that. I am testifying. I have no idea who liked that comment. Fair enough. It could have been you. Right? She's I'm telling She's you, the I question. do not know. Could have been anyone. Anyone. And it could just be that Marjorie Taylor Greene couldn't recall. And as we saw today, there was so much that she could not recall. When did you first uh, become aware that there were going to be large demonstrations in D.C. on the 6th? I don't recall. And who put it on your calendar? I don't know. Somebody on your staff, I take it? I have no idea. I don't know. I do not recall that, no. I don't recall. I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't recall the exact days. I don't think so. I don't recall that at all. I don't know. I don't recall. That was the video, but I don't recall. I don't recall. I don't recall. There was a lot of that today. Green's seeming inability to remember anything that happened in her own life over the past few years reminded me of her mentor, disgraced ex-president Donald J. Trump, because when Trump was deposed in December of 2015, he cited memory lapses 59 times. Green did catch herself one time during today's hearing when she tried to deny calling House Speaker Nancy Pelosi a traitor before suddenly, oops, remembering she said that on video. In fact, you think that Speaker Pelosi is a traitor to the country, right? Uh, you're, I'm not answering that question. It's speculation. And it's you, hypothetical. You've, you've said that, haven't you, Ms. Green, that she's a traitor to the country? No, I haven't said that. Okay. Put up. Can I exhibit five, please? Which, which oh, no, wait. Hold on now. I believe by not upholding the uh, se securing the border, that that violates her oath of office. 
It can be tough to keep all your life straight when so much of your life is on video. And sometimes there's not a lot of wiggle room. Remember that clip we played earlier where Green said there shouldn't be a peaceful transfer of power? Well, the congresswoman was forced to respond to that specific clip in court today under oath. And this is an important time in our history. We can't allow this just to just to be gone, you know, just to let it go. You can't allow it to just transfer power peacefully like Joe Biden wants and allow him to become our president because he did not win this election. It's being stolen and the evidence is that. OK, so that, that's you, right, Ms. Green? Yes, that's me. OK. And when you say we can't allow it, we can't just let it go, the, the it in that phrase is to have Joe Biden declared the winner of the 2020 presidential election. You are showing a video where it doesn't give us any reference beforehand and it doesn't give us any reference afterwards. So it's not really my complete, it's hard to get an understanding of what I was saying. Okay, so you, your answer is, you don't know what you're referring to. I, I don't. Okay. I, we're, we're watching a partial video and a partial statement of, of clearly an interview I was doing. I don't know what date it was on, and it's definitely <clears throat> off someone else's uh, Twitter or Facebook. I can't see it from here. It's only a partial statement. Her exact words were, you can't transfer power peacefully like Joe Biden wants and allow him to become our president because he did not win this election. What added context would have made that more acceptable? Unless she prefaced it with a dangerous and crazy thing for me to say would be, you can't just allow Joe Biden to transfer power peacefully. I mean, look, I don't think more context is going to help unless it's that. After spending most of the hearing questioning Green on her public statements and actions, the petitioning lawyers moved to her private conversations, including her interactions with ex-President Trump. You've had a number of meetings with him, right? Yes. And you had meetings with him between the election 2020 and January 20th of 2021, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And in those meetings, you discussed with him your advocacy for the idea that there should be martial law declared in the United States. No, I don't recall ever discussing that. Well, are you saying it didn't happen, or are you saying you don't recall one way or the other? I don't recall ever discussing that. Okay. Did you discuss that topic, the idea that there should be martial law declared in the United States prior to the inauguration of President Biden? Your Honor, I'm going to have to object. Which, I actually represent the President of the United States, and that's covered by executive privilege. She, she can't get into any of this conversation. Executive privilege. She's not a member of the executive, and this counsel is here on her behalf, not on Mr. Trump's behalf, unless there's something I missed. It's not a proper objection, Your Honor. I'm sorry, I got flustered. What was the question again? The question was whether, um, prior to the inauguration of, of Joe Biden, uh, Ms. Green, whether you ever uh, advocated for martial law to be imposed in a conversation with the chief of staff of the then President of the United States, Mr. Trump. And answer the question. I don't recall. Um, did you ever advocate for martial law prior to the inauguration of Mr. Biden with any member of the White House staff that was part of the Trump administration? I don't recall. I don't know about you, but I personally feel like I would remember if I had advocated for imposing martial law in America with anyone, especially if that person was the President of the United States or his chief of staff. Green's ridiculous refusal to answer anything truthfully was hardly convincing, and in many ways raised even more questions about the Republicans' attempt to overturn the 2020 election. Ben Clements helped develop the legal strategy against Marjorie Taylor Greene today. He's the chair and senior legal advisor for Free Speech for People, the organization which brought today's petition. He joins me now. Ben, thanks so much for coming on the show. How do you think that hearing yeah, went man. today for Marjorie Taylor Greene specifically? Well, I think it went very well for the voters of Georgia who are challenging her candidacy. I think it did not go so well for Marjorie Taylor Greene, but she doesn't have much to work with. She has a long history, as your intro just showed, of advocating for political violence. She has a clear record on Twitter, on video, and otherwise in public documentation of calling 
for her supporters to come to Washington on January 6 and engage in what she described as our 1776 moment, which could only be understood and certainly was understood as a call to armed resistance to the peaceful transfer of power, which, as you noted, she publicly said, we cannot allow to happen. So with all of that, she was left with little to do than deny and evade, uh, which she did at great, great length. And I think your uh, coverage that you just provided of the number of refusals to even admit or deny, but simply to say, I do not remember, even to the question whether she urged the president, uh, then president, to implement martial law, cast serious doubt on her credibility. Yes. I think a fair inference is that she was trying to deny what she thought she could get away with denying, but not go so far as to not deny something that could be proved and might open her up to a possible perjury prosecution.